Hi and welcome to another episode of Tech Team GB. Today I'll be showing you how to remove thermal compound from your processor or CPU. So first of all what you're going to need is a microfiber cloth. Uh, this is, I think the Tesco call it a J cloth. Um, and you're going to need some either rubbing alcohol or distilled vinegar works just as well. So you're going to need to do is fold up your um, cloth. Uh, this is really hard with one hand. Cover the top and just give it a good soaking. So you can see that's wet. Use that part and just rub. It doesn't necessarily need to be in any sort of circular motion or anything, it's just the easiest way I find really. So you can already see. I mean, that's how quick it is. I'm just going to put this on, sit this on my legs quickly. And just use the other side of this. Again, get some distilled vinegar onto the cloth. Up we go. So you can see there's still some stuff on it, so you have another rub. Make sure to not wet the cloth too much because that can damage the CPU. And obviously if you damage it then you've just lost however much money you paid for it. Staring into sky there. So there you go, you can see my CPU is nearly perfectly clean. Now take, once you've, see it's really dirty with old thermal compound, once you've cleaned it take a dry side and just give it one last quick going over. So there you go, you can see a nice, let's see if I'm focusing on that, nice shiny CPU. Today I'll be showing you how to apply thermal compound to your CPU, or thermal grease, whatever you want to call it. So first of all you're going to need your thermal grease and you're going to need your CPU. Now this is fairly generic thermal grease or thermal paste, but the idea is the same. Now there's two principles of how to do it. There's one, there's the grain of rice, and there's one, there's the line. Um, I'm just going to do the grain of rice one. So literally, you squeeze a grain of rice amount onto the centre of the system. Right, sorry, onto the centre of the processor. You'll then put your heatsink down, and then give it a little wiggle around, and then lock your heatsink down. Uh, and that is literally how to install thermal compound. Uh, if you want to do the line method, it's exactly the same, but you do a line down the middle. Uh, or there's some people that I've seen that put a dot, uh, put a bit of grain rice on this side, but then they use something like a credit card or something to uh, swipe it across uh, to just make sure that it's definitely all um, covered. You don't need to do that, but uh, actually, I. Uh, I think it's a fairly good technique. Um, so that's how to install thermal compound on your CPU. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and if you want to see any more PC videos, just check our channel. All right. See you next time.